Good morning, friends and family. Good afternoon, Euro brothers. Good evening, Asian and Australian and New Zealand brothers, wherever you are. However you may be, thank you for joining me for another video. I have a meeting in about an hour from the when I am speaking right now, so I can't go live today until maybe this afternoon. And so I wanted to make a quick video to just talk about GameStop and where we, where I think we're heading. Um, I am my just the research that I've done this morning. My hands have strengthened, and I want to tell you, I, I do think we're going up from here. Now it, it is nice to see pre-market. Yeah, we're at 269. We're higher than the close yesterday. We're higher than the close two days ago. And so is that why my hands are strengthened? I mean, sure, it probably plays a psychological effect into that. But just you know, based on some research that I've gotten into. But before I even share any of that, I, I do want to share with you this post that I really thought was helpful because I've gotten into this mindset. I, I've said when talking about GameStop in particular, I, I say the word we a lot. And uh, no, there, there is no we. Just like the title says, there is no we, there's no us versus them in the stock market. I saw people on the Discord server, if you haven't joined, there's a link in the description, check it out. But I saw people in the Discord server saying they were out. And you know what? Fine. That's that's fine. Good. I'm glad that you took profits, that you can move on and not have to stress about this. Um, and so no judgment. That's the thing I say. I steal that from this place called Planet Fitness. Awful, awful gym. Awful awful, awful gym, but this is a judgment-free zone. So let me read this real quick, and then I'll get uh, into some reasons why I'm feeling really good right now. So this post is in reference to GME, but it applies to the stock market in general. Don't let anyone tell you when you should or should not buy. Don't let anyone tell you when you should or should not sell. It is your money and your decision. Three weeks ago when GameStop touched back down to $40, I was talked out of going all in. It is my money and I should do what I want with it. If you decide you want to sell GameStop next time it touches 280 or 300 then sell. It is your money. Don't listen to people here telling you that they are not. They are counting on you to hold, to stick it to the hedge funds. Trading slash investing is a one man game. No one here is going to support you if you go broke. So don't go broke. Listening to what other people tell you is the right thing to do. Good luck, everyone. Great. Brilliant. That's That absolutely needs to be said. And so with that in mind, uh, somebody pointed out to this, this to me on the live stream. So this user called you Rensoul has done He's doing syn a synopsis of the previous day, what we need to know before the market opens for the following day. And I, I really enjoyed his content after checking it out. Um, and really, a lot of stuff that I want to cover for the rest of this video, which is going to be a short one, is just uh, I, I, I took some things from here and... Um, and it just ignored all the memes and everything. Lots of memes, like stonks, you know, this picture here. Lots of other things like that. Uh, and there are three charts or three bits of information that I wanted to take a look at. And if you, if for some reason Reddit goes down and you're trying to find, remember just you, Rensole, R-E-N-S-O-L-E. -E, he has a Tumblr, gmebackup.tumblr.com. I believe he's a mod on the GME subreddit. And so anyway, here we go. So looking at this chart, this is GameStop in 2021, and you see where we are right now. Um, I'm zooming in, yeah, it's a little bit more helpful, but you know we had this peak at near, you know, above 340. We're back down after that sell-off on on Wednesday and traded flat the day before. I mean, we had something similar on the run-up in January. It's like I remember this. I remember it got up to 158 right around here. And then it went down to $61 a share. <clears throat> and that was not a fun ride. But I also remember thinking, like, there's no way I'm selling. Because I I am certain of where this is going. And, I, you know, I got my strength from the subreddit from Wall Street Bets and everything like that. And so I was down from my initial... That was, that was all Monday that it got up to 158 and went down to 61. And... Um, Let's, I mean, I was still up overall because I, I got in in November, but like I made a, a ton of moves that day and I was down that day. And so then after that, I mean, it just shot up. It shot up. So, I mean, we could be, I mean, if you look at the run up here, it's similar 
to uh, this run up here, it's, except everything's much bigger. That could be what's happening right now. Um, by no means is the past... I mean, well, no, I shouldn't say that. I was going to say by no means is the past an indication of the future. Um, but the, the message with this is actually like we have ups and downs even on our way up to the peak. And so uh, there's no reason to think that it's over. Or, I mean, uh, unless you've been, you just, I, I think what a lot of people are going through is kind of the PTSD of getting burned last time. And so, you know, you held your bag holder. I was a bag holder, even though I like the stock. I, do I wish I sold at 480? Sure, yeah. I would have been happy to sell at 480 and then bought back in at, at $38 like, um, like uh, Roaring Kitty, <laughs> DFV. But... I, there's, there's some signs here that this is not anywhere near over. And, um, I, again, I've been saying, if you haven't seen my GME Endgame coming soon video, I have two videos titled GME Endgame. Look up the one titled coming soon. Um, I talk about an analysis that next week is a huge week for GameStop. So another thing is, is the MACD here. So moving average convergence, divergence, I'm totally blanking on the D right now. I, oh my goodness. I, I know what it is, but I'm on, I'm under pressure. So the MACD. So we had a trend line that was moving up quite well. We were following along that trend line just fine before the sell-off. This is, this is for this week before that sell-off on Wednesday, the, the shenanigans, whatever you want to call it. And then we established a new support and we are moving up this trend line and we're hitting levels of support quite nicely. And I, I expect this to continue into next week and this isn't by this is by no means a, a narrow a whatever a, a small decline incline this is this is pretty sharp and so throughout this day i do expect us we'll see i expect us to to be moving up to go somewhere in in 300 the 300s dare i say uh maybe even higher because who knows about all those 800 hundred dollar calls and all those 300 and 400 dollar calls that were bought today you know maybe something is brewing but according to this i mean we are we are going to be moving up fat quickly so um just keep that in mind as well keep in mind this uh this is a post that again i highlighted from rensel's um well from rensel's post so gamestop why do you think they're shorting so hard it's cheaper to get you all pa to paper hand than to pay out with a new D dtcc rule takes effect this is a game of chicken with a time constraint a much narrower time constraint right now who is going to hold the bag us or short sellers the dtcc doesn't want to pay out premium so they will margin call and liquidate the shares of melvin faster than you can blink they've dug their hole deep why let them get out of it up to you but i'm a damn spark and they'll have to kill me for my shares. So I saw this announcement earlier this week and I didn't pay attention to it. So the DTCC has announced that essentially, let me, let me explain it like I'm five, okay? That they had 21 days to, um, to handle their business uh, for particular reasons. That has been uh, narrowed down to, uh, oh, I forgot. It's less than a week. I think it's like, it, it could be, th this DTC announcement gives them something like 24 hours to, um, instead of 21 days. Uh, so the DTCC doesn't want to be holding the bag when Melvin gets screwed. And so they can liquidate the shares of Melvin faster. You can blink, blah, blah, blah. So I wasn't paying attention to this very much at all because I thought, okay, that's just an announcement. How long is it going to take for them to implement? It'll probably take months, maybe even years. But actually, this thing is going to be implemented by March 19th at the latest. And so this could be as soon as possible. And so this will have an effect on... Uh, th this just tightens the noose, basically. This tightens the noose for Melvin, for whoever else is shorting GameStop right now. And uh, the level of increase for the fireworks is going to be, um, I, I just think, next week is going to be a significant week. Let me put it at that. All right, so I did an awful job explaining what this DTCC rule means, but so let me just let me just read this and um, explain it for a second. The new rule basically means that the DTCC can now calculate this fat loss fee every day 
and even during the day enforce a payment so pretty much the DTCC is covering their butts and are going to liquidate the member themselves when S hits the fan aka the DTCC will crucify Citadel the day this pops um, which what happens then you know forces the price to go even higher so what this means Remember that time in January when Melvin was so screwed that they had to go to Citadel, they had to get bailed out from other companies. Um, that may, that most likely will not be able to happen this time. Um, I mean, they can, they'll be able to get bailouts, but this, this allows the DTCC to move so quickly that there will not be time to think and plan like they did last time. I mean, you think about how much time they had. I mean, we, they went through that week, it topped at 480, closed above 320, and then they had all weekend to plan their shenanigans, and this cuts the planning time down. So I, I had a little bit of trouble understanding what this fat loss fee means. I, I think that's just Reddit slang. Um, it, it's just essentially just the, the costs of doing business for uh, being ridiculously obnoxious shorters. So anyway, let me check the price of GameStop one more time before I end this video. 270 50 looking decent pre-market. Again, I expect us to ride along this level of support and have our, our highs and have our lows, and we will be moving up rapidly. So I will, we'll see about the price action today. I, I'm assuming that I'll be back this afternoon, this afternoon in America time at least. And so if you have anything you want to talk about, um, feel free to leave a comment in the comment section or um, come and visit the stream in the afternoon. And until then, I hope you have a great and prosperous day. See you later.